वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन दिस इज मनीष यादव एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ स्नैपशॉट्स फॉर क्लास एलेवेंथ दैट इज बर्थ बाय एज ए क्रोनिंग दिस इज सेवेंथ एंड लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ दिस बुक लेट यू नो समथिंग अबाउट दिस चैप्टर and its characters for better understanding during the explanation in this chapter birth we are going to know about a newly came doctor after his medical preparations and his efforts dedications and loyalty for his job birth by ezek cronin this chapter has been narrated by ezek cronin he describes about a story in which six characters are there main character in this chapter is andrew mansion second character Doctor Edward Pace, third Christine, fourth character is Joe Joey Morgan, Susan Joey's wife, and last character Mrs. Morgan's mother. Mrs. Morgan's mother is just last character, and her name has not been mentioned anywhere in the chapter. let you know and start with first character of this chapter this is main character andrew mansion andrew mansion newly came out after his medical preparation and uh, qualification now he is one he is working as an assistant to dr edward pace okay Andrew Mansion was very dedicated and loyal to his duties. One evening, he was coming back from his medical preparation from Doctor Edward Pace's house. He was staying along with his girlfriend Christine. Christine is. a girl who is loved by andrew mansion andrew mansion was staying at cardiff station at cardiff station along with his girlfriend christy andrew mansion loves christy she was his girlfriend when he reached at cardiff station they enjoyed having charts and uh, some delicious items as supper when andrew mansion was sitting before christy he saw a person whose name is bramwell 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 was a person who was badly and scardedly deceived and cheated by his own girlfriend and he has gone to the frustration because once a person cheated badly he goes to the frustration he thinks that this world is full of only cheaters so he has gone in the frustration zone and andrew felt so bad watching the condition and situations of bramwell next next character is joey morgan joey morgan is a person who was waiting for andrew mansion to 
take him to 12 Blena Terrace where his wife Suzanne was lying. She was a pregnant lady. Joyce Morgan's wife Suzanne. She was a pregnant lady and she was going to deliver a child on the same evening after 20 years of his uh, of their marriage. They got married, Joey and Suzanne. Both of them got married before 20 years, but they are expecting their first child to be delivered. Next character is Suzanne. As I told you, she is Joey's wife and Mrs. Morgan's mother. Suzanne's mom was also there in the hospital. So these are the characters. Now let you know something about the summary of this chapter. One day Andrew Manson, main character Andrew Manson was coming from his medical preparation to his home in Brangover. He stayed and enjoyed for a while at Cardiff station along with his girlfriend Christine. He saw a man Bramwell over there who was looking so nervous and irritated and frustrated in his life because he was deceived and cheated by his own girlfriend whom he loves a lot. When Andrew Manson left Cardiff, he reached in Bringover. Bringover is the name of a place. Bringover. Andrew Manson was belonging from Bringover. As he arrived after leaving from Cardiff in Bringover, he was met by Joey Morgan. Joey Morgan was already waiting at the home of Dr. Andrew Manson. Joey Morgan was waiting so that he could take and carry Andrew Manson to 12 Blena Terrace where his wife was waiting and lying. She was going to deliver a child on that evening. It was the time of midnight when Andrew Manson arrived at his home. Joey Morgan said, I am very happy to see you doctor. Just I want you to take along with me to 12 Blena Terrace where my wife is waiting to deliver a child and she told me that you have to come with a doctor so I want you to be there before dying. When Andrew Manchin heard Joey Morgan he told him to wait for some time for preparing his bag. Andrew Manson left his home and went with uh, Joey Morgan to the hospital. When both men, Joey Morgan and Andrew Manson, arrived at the door in which Suzanne, Zoe's wife, was lying, Zoe Morgan says to Andrew Manson that I am not coming in but I believe you will do well and best for us because it was their first child who was going to be delivered after 20 years of marriage. Just we can think their feelings when a person, a couple gets married, they expect their family, they expect the development of their family and uh, they are well thinker how to manage the things, how to be to the level of society. So it was just going on wrongly with Joey Morgan that her wife was not able to deliver a child. Coincidentally, it happens and she got pregnant 
of nine months. She was going to deliver the child on that evening. When Andrew mentioned the doctor entered into the room, he saw the scenario of the room. He describes that there was Mrs. Morgan's mother in the room. A nurse midwife was also beside uh, Susan, pregnant lady. When he saw the condition and situation, he observed everything. It seemed to him that there was a late in the delivery. And uh, he thinks also about Mrs. Morgan, Morgan's mom, that she was much and more experienced lady about uh, the situation. So it was late in the delivery. Mrs. Morgan's mom offered a cup of tea to doctor because she thought the doctor will leave immediately saying he'll come later because there was a little bit late in the delivery. Doctor observed everything what she thinks and uh, says just I want to stay in the kitchen, I am going down stair. I am not going to run away mom, don't be so afraid. And I need, I have to give my whole attention for this delivery. Because it was going on first time in uh, the life and the experience of Andrew Manchin. He was going to treat such situation first time in his medical life. He went downstairs and began to wait sitting in the kitchen. He had a cup of tea offered by Mrs. Morgan's mom. He told the midwife to knock him if something goes on. Suddenly, midwife shouted, Doctor, it's the time of delivery. Doctor went to the room and he saw the situation. He helps the lady, Suzanne, pregnant lady. Suzanne forbidden him not to inject chloroform because it is harmful for the child. But Andrew mentioned, Andrew mentioned injected chloroform saying it is only an aesthetic. It will only make you unconscious for some time. An aesthetic. Okay. Chloroform is the chemical which is given or injected. Somebody or some part of the body to deactivate the nervous system over there. So he did an injected. Finally, Suzanne delivered the child. But it was lifeless. The child was lifeless. His leg, he was not crying. His leg, he was not kicking. He was not moving a single part of his body. And it was terrifying and so shocking for all the members of Marvin's family as well as the doctor. Because it was going on first time in Andrew's life and he was shocked seeing the situation. What happens at last? Andrew Manchin did his best over there and eventually he restored the child and uh, went downstairs to Joey Morgan. He was in essence levating for the result, what would be the result in this case. The doctor told him that everything is fine. Mom is also fine as well as the child. Both are in the safer condition. Now, an Andrew Manchin goes to his home back. This is the summary of this chapter. Now, let you know through the text some parts of the chapter. Though it was nearly midnight, when Andrew reached Bringover. As I told you, it was the time of midnight when Andrew reached in Bringover. Before going through the text, 
something has been given at the very beginning of this chapter in this excerpt from the citadel andrew mentioned newly came out medical school has just begun his medical practice as an assistant to dr edward pace as i told you when i started this chapter andrew mentioned who is professionally a doctor who came newly out of his medical preparation and working as an assistant under dr edward pace uh as he was returning from a disappointing evening with christine he was very disappointed because he was coming after staying with christine at cardiff station he was frustrated he did not feel so good on that evening the girl he loves and remember loves a girl christine he is met by joy morgan over there when he arrived in bringover joy and his wife who have been married nearly so nearly 20 years ago are expecting their first child okay this is the clue about the scenario what is uh, about to read in this chapter now start uh, let you know and go through the text begin it though it was nearly midnight when andrew reached bringover andrew reached in bringover at midnight on that day he found joy morgan waiting for him as he arrived in the bringover he was met by joy morgan joy morgan just i told you the person whose wife was pregnant and uh, she was going to deliver a child at that night waiting up and down with short steps between the closed surgery and the entrance to the house joy morgan was impatiently waiting for the doctor because he was more worried about the situations about the condition of his wife about the upcoming children sorry up, up, upcoming child because she was going to deliver a child and it, it was going on after 20 years of their marriage so he was very worried about the situation and the condition of his wife next he was moving so fast okay sometimes he goes to the surgery room sometimes to the entrance okay it means frequently he was repeating the same movement over there and at the sight of him a girl in thriller's face ex expressed relief as joy morgan saw and mentioned he got a sigh of relief on his face because doctor was there and he was waiting for him so finally he says oh my god thank god i am glad to see you doctor i was waiting for you impatiently and i have been back and forward here this last hour i have been moving here and there for last hour i want you my business want you to be there before time because she is going to deliver a child it is the case of pregnancy uh andrew abruptly recalled from the contemplation of his own affairs andrew he was uh, going on i mean his mind was just upset after coming from cardiff station because he did not feel better at cardiff station with his girlfriend christine okay he was thinking very bad and he was feeling very bad about uh, his lifestyle and the affairs so with the thoughts of his own affair he was disturbed and irritated meanwhile he was met by joy morgan and told to come along with him to the 12 blena terrace told morgan to wait as i told you at the very beginning of the chapter when i started andrew mansion was very dedicated kind hearted and loyal person to his job he could not refuse the offer of uh, joy morgan he was angry to go with him just we can think if we have been working all day and when we 
come back to our home late at night, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 10 o'clock. We don't want to do anything anymore. Okay? We need to take, take some rest. And we do it. But Andrew Benson, he was fully dedicated to his job and finally he decided to go with Joey Morgan. He told him to wait for some time until he gets ready and prepare his bag to leave. Uh, finally, he agreed and went for number 12, Blena Terrace. The night air was cool and deep with quiet mystery. The air was blowing mysteriously on that night. The, perspe the perceptive Andrew now felt dull and listless. He was tired and exhausted. He was feeling less energetic. He was not feeling comfortable because he was coming after working all day. And at midnight, he was met by Joy Morgan and he has to go with him to help and to operate Suzanne, Joey's wife. <clears throat> now, he had no premonition that this night Carl would prove unusual. There is this learning, there is a word premonition. Premonition means uh, pre warning. Premonition. Pre warning means just we know something about. Uh, our future or next time what is about to happen so there was no premonition no pre-warning to Andrew mention about the night which is going to be unusual for him because he stayed at Cardiff station along with his girlfriend Christy and he was not feeling so better after leaving Car Cardiff station meanwhile he was met by jo uh, Joey Morgan and uh, he agreed to leave for 12 planetaries. He had no premonition about that. Still less that he could influence his whole future in Blanelli. Okay? He was very confused about the lifestyle which is going on in his life. So, he was thinking that still this influence his whole future in Blanelli. If he'll stay in the Blanelli, his whole future will be unusual over there because he was upset and uncomfortable in Blanelli. That's it for this video. Keep learning.